This is uh, Grant. As we head towards the 2021 campaign, uh, just talk about your excitement to get back out on the field and uh, get the season going. Yeah, um, I just want to say I, I love coming down here. It's been fun so far. I uh, appreciate y'all doing what you're doing. Uh, I'm excited for the season. I think we have a really good uh, opportunity to be able to show where we've improved. Uh, it'd be a, a really good opportunity to be able to grow in what we've been doing in the last uh, this last year with Coach Pittman and staff. So uh, I'm excited uh, to be able to make the defense better and be able to leave a legacy uh, better than what we did when we came in. Right, thank you, Grant. Uh, if you have questions, Victoria, Lawrence, and Fuller will have some microphones. We'll start over here on the left-hand side with Tom. Yeah. Hey, Grant. Tom Murphy, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Good to see you. Uh, Sam was up here touting 23 super seniors. You're one of those. 23 seniors and super seniors. What does that mean to this program? Does it mean you guys make a move this year? Yeah, um, I like the word super. That's cool, super seniors. But uh, no, I think um, I think it means a lot to him. I think it's a testimony to him and his staff. Uh, shows what type of guy he is. When you have guys um, who had a chance to go to the NFL and they came back and decided to stay, uh, it really it really does mean a lot to uh, as a senior to be able to see how the players have reacted to it as well. Uh, the younger guys who it was going to be their time to be the players, the starters. Um, so the fact that they accepted everybody who came back, it just shows that we have a culture here that's, that's different than what it was in the past. Um, so to be able to have a coach like that, it was an easy choice to be able to come back. And I know it was for everyone else. Okay, Grant, we'll go over here to the right hand aisle on the center section, Trey. Trey Biddy, hogsports.com, 24 seven sports, Grant. You were first team all SEC last year on both coaches and AP, 12.3 tackles per game. I'm curious how you plan on improving on that and your, just your reasoning for coming back to Arkansas. Yeah. Um, funny story. Um, I'm actually reading, I just finished reading a book called Winning by uh, Tim Grover. He was the, um, the trainer for, he was the personal trainer for like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, uh, big name guys. Um, and the fact that if you don't have anything you're trying to win every single day and you're trying to win every single practice, uh, winning is everything. It's exhausting. So uh, that's how I'm getting better. That's how I'm trying to improve this. I'm trying to win every single day. Um, I'm trying to, and it's not the the little mantra that everyone says, we're trying to go 1-0. and Like, that's just everyone hears that and goes out one ear. Like, I'm trying to win. And, like, you can ask my teammates, like, I've gotten more intense this year in workouts and more intense. I try to push more weight than anything. Like, because I will know how good we can be. I know how good I can be. Um, and the fact that, like, you, everyone can work. Everyone can work hard. Uh, you got to find your way to set an edge. Um, and my edge this year is just going to be knowledge and be able to be able to push exactly how I did the past year. But I got to adapt and change because that game's changing. Um, our defense is changing. Everyone's changing. Um, so to be able to be better and to be able to be better as a team, we have to find our edge. And uh, I think it's been in this offseason how hard we work and finding every single day an aspect to win. Grant, we're going to go over here on the left-hand side. Hey, Grant, Parrish All for Daily Journal, Tupelo, Mississippi. Um, well, tell me what super means. What's super in super senior? Explain that, please. Yeah, uh, super senior. Uh, this is my – I'm using a COVID year uh, for my eligibility. So uh, I get to come have some more fun and come to SEC and have some fun again this year. Okay, we'll go back down there to the same side, David. Uh, hey, Grant, you were a finalist for the Burlesworth Trophy last year that goes to the top player in America that began his career as a walk-on. Why don't you just talk about how that's an important part of your story and, and being and the importance of being a walk-on. Also, uh, you've been here. This will be your sixth year. I want to hear your frustration or irritation uh, with the nine-game losing streak to Texas A&M and the five-game losing streak to Missouri. Yeah. Um, first question, the walk-on. Um, I actually – my pinned tweet on my Twitter is, remember me as a walk-on, not an All-American. So – I live my life like that. I live my life every day as a walk-on. Um, I'm not a flashy guy. Um, I'm not anybody that's going to be big time and try to make TikToks and all that stuff. Like I just, I go to work. I do my job. Um, I I focus on football. That's the only thing that matters to me. Like when when we get in that building and stuff. So um, to be able to be like I I lost the or I came in whatever. I wasn't. I didn't win the Burlesworth. Um, that set a big precedent in my head for what I, my goals are this year. Um, I wasn't the best. And obviously, I won a lot of other things that I could have been happy about, but that was the only one that stood out to me. Um, I didn't win that. Um, so I think that motivates me more than anything. And even if I did win it, I would have tried to find a way, another way to find motivated, but I think that's purely enough for me. In um, the losing streaks to AM and uh, Missouri, 
Um, I know that means nothing for this year for me. Um, I, I personally wish we could have won all of every single one of those. I think we could have won every single one of those. We didn't, and that's not an excuse at all. Um, I don't think that means a single thing for this year, and I promise you not a single player on our team's looking at it at all. Um, we're not looking back at all on those wins or losses that we have against anybody. We beat Ole Miss last year. We don't care. We don't care about that at all. Um, you could say we won or lost against Auburn. Everyone could say, oh, they won, they lost, they won. We lost. We, we, we did, not, did not count on the record. And that's another thing that happened in this book I'm reading this offseason. Like, we don't, there's no excuses. There's no excuses. What happened happened. Um, the way we treat it and the way our players are attacking it, we're going to win games. We're going to try to focus on ourselves in the, way, the best way we can to win games. Okay, we're going to go down here in the front to the right. Yeah, Mark McLeod, the Gator Blitz. Grant, can you talk about um, some of the things that Coach Pittman uh, talked with us about the roster and development of the roster, trying to get more guys to push for starting positions? Can you talk about the other guys in the linebacker group with you? He said you guys are pretty well settled there. But uh, in addition to that, talk about some of the guys that are pushing you that are behind you at linebacker. Yeah. Um, depth was a big issue for us last year. Um, and I think one of the issues was is us not – defense specifically – uh, we didn't get off the field, so depth had to be there. If we didn't get off the field on third down, a third down percentage wasn't great. If we didn't get off the field, then we needed depth. So I think the first issue we had to focus on is getting off the field, and then you don't need as much depth. But thing is, is uh, the D-line has really caused a lot of competition, uh, as you spoke of. Uh, getting new transfers in, uh, grad transfers in, I think is huge because it puts a precedent that these guys are going to play like right away. Um, so it makes these other guys who are here – uh, like a Torian Carter, like a Dorian Gerald, um, Isaiah Nichols, it pushes them to be so much better because they're wanting to play too. They think their time's now too, and it could be. Um, that Having older guys in one room together causes a lot of competition. And then for linebackers, um, me, Bump, Hayden, uh, or sorry, me, Bumper, Bumper Pool, Hayden Henry, um, and Dee Dee Edwards, um, four guys who continuously improve, uh, were four guys who push the – the standard um, for the linebacker group every single day. Um, the, the fact that we have those guys and the way they're growing, um, besides the older two, um, the way they're growing behind us has been tremendous. They've had the best offseason they've had, and they're our age. The guys below them, Andrew Parker, uh, Jackson Woodard, um, Keelan Burrell has done really good. There's a lot of good guys, and I know I've missed some that I just can't think about right now. Um, those guys are people who aren't acting like their age. Uh, they're, they're maturing. Um, but I think this offseason um, has really stepped up linebacker depth. And I think that we've, we, uh, we won't have a drop off. Uh, we'll, be able to ro we'll be able to rotate people in and be able to continue the, the standard that we want. Grant, we'll go back down here to Tom on the left. Hey, Grant, I want to ask you about a freshman who enrolled early, Jaden Jones on defense. Yep. Uh, he flashed in the amount we saw. W what did you see from the entirety of spring out of Jaden Jones? Um, are you thinking Jaden Johnson? Johnson? Okay, yeah. Jaden Johnson, I'll tell you right now, I don't like making predictions. I don't make predictions. That kid's going to be a heck of a football player. Um, we saw it the first day he came on there. He was moving around like he's played in the SEC for four years already. Um, he continues to just grow and continues to keep his mind on straight and be able to focus on football. And hopefully this name image likeness stuff doesn't mess with him, which I 100% don't think it will because he's not that type of kid. Um, he's going to have a really good career at Arkansas. Okay, Grant, we're going to go back to the center section along the right aisle. Hey, Grant. Connor O'Gara, Saturday on South. Um, you have been able to benefit off name, image, and likeness so far. Would you be able to kind of explain uh, the deal that, that you've been able to, to set up? Yeah, so um, I, I can't talk money. Um, I can't speak on any terms of that. Um, that's what I agreed with my agent. So I signed an agent. So I wouldn't have to deal with this. So I wouldn't have to, I could focus on football. Um, I think I came here to play football. So uh, I would say it's a lifetime sponsorship. Uh, there's cash up front um, and then so forth. So um, it'll be for an ad. Um, and then for the rest of our lives, we have uh, incentives and stuff with him too. So, uh, but it's none of it's football based. It's all along the lines, all the guidelines. So we're following the rule. Um, but that's, that's pretty much all I can get to, I'm sorry. Okay, we'll go back down here to Trey on the right side. Trey Biddy Hog Sports. Uh, Grant, I was curious if you could talk about some of the transfer additions on defense, how they might be able to help you, Utsi, Williams, um, Ridgeway. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, those three guys are very good. Um, this offseason, they've done really well. Um, Ridgeway's the type of guy who we can go in a three down and he can hold two gaps in the middle and he'll make mine and bumpers life really easy. Um, another guy, and he can also be in a four down. Like the thing with all three of them, and I'll just say this now, like they're all three can play both. Like their bodies fit both. They've played them both before. Um, so there's that. Uh, Utsi or Markel, we call him Kel. Kel, um, he's smart. He's real strong. He's physical. Uh, the way that we've seen him, he's really fluid in his hips. Um, how he gets around the edge, he turns like they do a bag drill uh, where they flip their hips. And the way he flips his hips, it, it looks like he's not 300 pounds. So um, that's really good to see that. He can play in. He can play inside. Um, I'll tell you right now, Trey Williams, he's, he's very impressive. Uh, I think we're going to see him a lot off the edge this year uh, just because of that's, a, that's what we needed. And uh, that's, that's what we obviously needed to go get. Um, but he's helped that group. He's helped Dorian. He's helped Soli. He's helped them compete, too. And he's helped them like on what works for him. And so they try it out or something like that. So uh, he's brought a lot of insight. They've all three brought a lot of insight. But uh, they're, they're going to be a good addition to our football team. Hey, Grant, we appreciate your time. Good luck this season. Yeah, thank you all.